Hi, Mark T, the handyman here. Today we're going to set up and program our Apple TV. Okay, let's see what we got in the box here. This is the Apple TV 4K. Here is the Apple TV. And here we have the remote. And in here we have the power cable. What's not included with the Apple TV is the HDMI cable, okay, but you can pick one of those up uh, at uh, any store that sells uh, computer equipment, and the USB-C cable for charging the remote. Okay, let's put it together. And one more thing, we have to take this off here. And that exposes everything on the Apple TV. There we go. All right, let's get started. So now we're going to plug the HDMI cable into the Apple TV box. And then we're also going to plug in our power cord to the Apple TV box. And now we're going to go to TV and plug it all into the TV and into the outlet. Okay, we're at the TV. We're at the uh, HDMI um, port. We're going to plug the cable in there. And now we're going to program the Apple TV box. So now we want to set up our Apple TV. First, Apple wants us to set up a language. Because I speak English, my selection will be English. So we click the select button on the controller. Next, Apple wants to know your region. For me, it's the United States. Next, data and privacy. You will see this icon when an Apple app feature is asking you to use personal information. I mentioned this to make note of it. So we now will continue. Now you have the option to automatically set up your Apple TV if you have an iPhone or an iPad. You can use your iPhone to automatically add your Apple ID, your Wi-Fi, and other settings. Or you have the option to set it up manually with your remote. For our purposes, we are going to do the process manually. Click the down arrow and then click select on the setup manually. Now you have the option to set up Siri. What this will do, Siri can search things for you just by asking. There is a little microphone on the right hand side of your Apple TV remote. You can search for movies, enables closed caption, check for weather, things such as that. So if you want to set it up, just click on use Siri's option. To improve Siri and your dictation, you can share your audio recordings so that it can be more accurate with your voice. If you want that, click Share Audio Recordings. If you don't want this, you can click Not Now. I think it's a good idea to improve when needed. So I'm going to select Share Audio Recordings. The next page is where you set up your Wi-Fi network. So it's going to give you a list of Wi-Fi routers that are in your general vicinity. So find your Wi-Fi and click on it. Next, you're going to enter your Wi-Fi password and then click Continue. Now, if you have an Apple ID, you can enter it here. But if for some reason you forgot your ID or password, you can go to appleid.apple.com and you can recover the information from there. Next, you'll need to enter your password and then click Continue. If you have a cable provider, you can sign in to access all the apps that are supported by your cable company or TV subscription at no extra charge. So if you do have a TV provider, you can click on your provider and sign in. Otherwise, you can select not now. I don't have a cable provider, so I'm going to skip that step. Now we need to select where the Apple TV will be located. And for me, it's going to be the living room. So I'm going to select living room. 
Okay, that brings us to location services. Location services allows Apple TV and apps to gather and use data based on location of your Apple TV. You can choose to enable location services or disable location services. I'm going to disable local, local services. Next is see the world option. This is a nice aerial screensaver. You can click automatically download or you can click not now option. Next, you can automatically send analytic data to Apple to improve products and services. So if you like to do this, you can click the send to Apple or you can click don't send. Now we come to read over the warranty and then click either agree or disagree. So that we can continue on, we're gonna click agree. So finally, that takes us to the home page of our Apple TV. Now we can see what we have on our apps already here and ready to go. Or if you want to, you can search for or download additional apps for your Apple TV. You can go down to the Apple App Store and click select for many other apps. You will need your Apple ID and password to add more apps. Last but not least, if you need to tweak any of your settings, you can go down to the settings button and click and select information from all the different settings in this area. This is very helpful if you're trying to set up new remote or change your Wi-Fi or internet connections, things like that. So this is the Apple TV controller. It's pretty cool. It's kind of light and thin. Up here, you've got the on-off switch for the Apple TV and your TV, okay? You've got the select button in the center here, very handy. You can go back and forth uh, on looking at uh, different apps, up and down. Um, and you've, you've got not only the, that feature, but you can go one at a time just with these uh, arrows. Right here is the back button if you want to go back to what you were looking at, even if it's once or twice or even two or three times you push that this is the main screen button it'll take you back to the main screen this is the volume button up and down okay this is the um uh, the pause button here if you want to pause this is the mute button and on the side they've got a microphone so if you want to give your commands by siri you can do that very handy very clever if you like this video give me a like if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe Thanks for watching.